So it looks like Kamala Harris is doing an interview this Thursday on CNN, and she's bringing Tim Waltz? Imagine doing this in your own life, saying that, oh, you're interviewing for the most important job in the world. Well, I'm not really comfortable doing that by myself. I need to actually have my assistant there. I wonder if this would fly in the real world. Anyone else think that the president should be able to sit down and actually say, this is my belief system and this is what I've always believed, but Kamala Harris believes in nothing, so we're gonna have to have Tim Waltz there to rescue her and give her time to think about what she actually believes in. Also, imagine if this was back in 2008 and Barack Obama won the nomination. He's like, you know, I don't really feel comfortable doing an interview, so I need to bring Joe Biden in order to help me figure out what to say. But again, as Democrats, we're supposed to have no standards, vote blue no matter who, even if our candidate is a vegetable. Also, with the interview being done on CNN with Dana Bash, never criticize Trump again for saying he will only go on outlets that are friendly to him. Dana Bash is a Democrat shill. Also, I saw something today which kind of pissed me off is Quentin Tarantino just says, hey, just win. Do as little interviews as possible. Look at the liberal elite circles, people. They don't even believe in Kamala Harris. They just want her to defeat the great orange man. And this shows how little these people think of you. They don't think you're entitled to actually hear their positions out. They think you should just shut up and fall in line. Who cares if people disagree with our policy towards Israel? Who cares if you disagree with their policy towards Ukraine? We're in charge. Shut up. We'll see if she actually gets hostile questions. If I were doing the interview, I would say, hey, how long were you aware that Joe Biden was in cognitive decline and he would step aside and you would be running to be president? Was this the plan all along? Have you just been lying for the last three and a half years? What do you say to this, Kamala Harris? And if anyone's watched interviews with Kamala Harris, she gives us a lot of word salad. Hey, we have a crisis on our southern border. What do you think about it? I haven't been to the southern border. Don't you think you should go to the southern border? Seeing problems that the administration I'm part of created? No, of course not. Shut up. We're going to have to see what this interview is even like, but I guarantee these questions are pre-vetted and it's going to be canned pre-vetted answers. And she can't even stand on her own two feet, so she needs Tim Waltz to be there to bail her out. But we'll see how this works out with the Democrats because... They didn't want Kamala Harris to be their nominee. They're simply doing what they can to defeat Donald Trump, and we'll see if it works out. She's just going to do her best to say nothing and be everything to everybody.